Hello, everyone, and welcome to the first ever RuPaul Roast. Do you all know Leslie Jordan? Don't lie, no you don't. <laughs> Leslie Jordan is the only man on earth to have f***ed more gay men than Michelle Visage. <laughs> <laughs> Michelle Visage, you can take the girl out of New Jersey, but you can't keep the girl from giving blowjobs to homeless men along the New Jersey turnpike. <laughs> but we're here celebrating RuPaul. RuPaul, you've been in the industry a long, 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 <laughs> long, long, long time. <laughs> RuPaul is so old that the Hindenburg disaster nearly destroyed her bat mitzvah. <laughs> RuPaul is so old that her colostomy bag is made of wood. <laughs> RuPaul is so old that when she opens her legs, all you hear is She's done movies, music, television, and I have just one thing to say. Please stop immediately. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mama, we love you. <laughs> it is my great pleasure to bring to the stage our next entertainer, Roxy Andrews. <laughs> and that's Roxy with three X's, just like her dress size. Thank you, Alaska. A tired, boring, weird, second-rate version of your husband. Oh. You know, RuPaul, you love it for all of us to call you our mom. How the f can I call you my mom if you're as old as my grandpa? <laughs> Michelle Visage, with that much makeup, all of your wigs, and light on your face, Maybe we should call you Michelle Mirage. <laughs> RuPaul, I want to thank you for having me here tonight. Y'all, I'm so happy to be here. I've never been out the house. It's been a long time, y'all. I'm Ru Good Cousin from the Brewster Projects. She didn't know I was coming tonight. You didn't know I was going to be here, did you? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> And Michelle, you go back with Michelle farther than you go back with me. You knew Michelle when Michelle was Michael. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm flipping through the channel, I say, you see Ru? Ru on TV. I say, what the hell is he thinking? <laughs> you know, at the beginning of the show, you come in a room, girl. Hello, hello. <laughs> girl, you look like the black Pee Wee Herman. <laughs> Pants so hot. He look like he in New Orleans and Hurricane Katrina, girl. <laughs> it's gonna be hard to top Coco. But look at her, who would wanna top Coco? <laughs> Michelle Visage is so full of semen, period. <laughs> no, seriously, she's a whore. <laughs> Now on to the grand high bitch herself. Rue, what I admire most about you is your ability to look at these tired queens and always find a compliment for them. <laughs> You're so full of shit, the toilet's jealous. <laughs> Give it up for RuPaul. Hello, everyone. Having sex with Sansino is a lot like Rue's music career. Awkward. You would know. <laughs> I feel like whenever Michelle farts, a fairy gets her wings. <laughs> Speaking of fairies, hello, Leslie. <laughs> RuPaul, uh, with these long legs and feathers you like to wear, you're one step away from looking like Big Bird's grandmother. <laughs> I thought I had auditioned for RuPaul's next drag queen of the year. Little did I know I was walking into the largest cross-dressing convention of all time. <laughs> <laughs> but this is about you, Mother Ru. From the cracked out nights in the bathroom or the cracking of your voice at every live performance. <laughs> This was the best bunch of people you could get to come judge. <laughs> Can I get a gay man? 
Santino Rice, what the hell do you know about winning something? <laughs> but you and Coco Montrese do share something in common, okay? And that's not only your foolish wardrobe, but being a runner up, oh. don't get bitter, just get better. I thank you and good night. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Wasn't he delightful? <laughs> God bless him, he tried his hardest. <laughs> oh, f Where do I f***ing start? Oh, God. Let's start with Leslie Jordan. It's great to see you. <laughs> the Help is one of my most favorite movies of all time, and your performance was quite unbelievable because you played a heterosexual male. <laughs> you are f***ing gayer than the Fire Island production of Rent. <laughs> but enough with that old queen. Let's talk about the other old queen on the panel, Michelle Visage. <laughs> Let me just look at my little notes really quick. <laughs> God, I had to write little to fit all this in. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Michelle's favorite movie in the world is Showgirls. And much like Nomi Malone, she relies on the talents of her black friend. <laughs> Rue, you are a f***ing legend. And I just hope that you're having the time of your life because you don't have much time left. <laughs> Good night, you guys. Thank you so much for coming out. Welcome to the second annual RuPaul's Roast. This year, we are really switching things up. Instead of RuPaul, we are going to roast a man of true charisma, <laughs> uniqueness, nerve, and talent. Unfortunately, he was unavailable, so it's going to be Michelle Visage. <laughs> Michelle, we know you for being a kind, patient Shiro. And gonorrhea clinics know you as patient zero. <laughs> Girl, you have had more d in you than a urinal at Dodger Stadium. The only difference is, they get cleaned up after a grand slam. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, just remember, if you liked my performance, my name is Shea Coulee, and if you hated it, it's Nina Bonita Brown. <laughs> Thank you, Shea Coulee. That was extremely edifying humor. Uh, sorry, am, am I using that word correctly? Uh, not edifying, I know that one. It was humor that I wasn't sure worked in this context. <laughs> Tonight, we really do have an opportunity to salute empowering representation in the media. We have an out and proud lesbian comedian. Thank you so much, Ross Matthews. <laughs> <laughs> Ross Matthews has the face of a young gay man and the voice of an adult woman. <laughs> so the opposite of Tamar Braxton. <laughs> Get your ass. <laughs> it's now come time to talk about Michelle Visage herself. Michelle is so Jersey, her idea of classical music is Lisa Lisa. Ah! <laughs> Michelle Visage is so Jersey, she calls her pubic hair the Garden State Expressway. <laughs> and let's not even get started on the Holland Tunnel. <laughs> Michelle Visage is so, I have more of these. And Michelle Visage is so Jersey, she wanted to call her second child White Flight. <laughs> oh well, that one worked in my mind. <laughs> and now, a queen who combines all the excitement of smiling with the thrill of just standing there. <clears throat> Give it up for Valentina. Mama RuPaul, you are the shadiest queen because you let Michelle Visage look so busted on season three and four <laughs> and five and six and seven and eight. <laughs> and girl, that's your friend. That's f***ed up. <laughs> Michelle is such a cochina that she knows how to say and spell harder in six different languages. <laughs> Marcel, you is such a tired asshole <laughs> that when you got carpal tunnel from giving out free hand job, she just became left-handed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
so confused. <laughs> Ross, you're just so cute and so sweet. You just remind me of a cute hamster. I just want to shove you up my butt. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Pedro. Mo we be in. <laughs> Please excuse the way I'm dressed. I have to go feed the chickens after this. And I didn't want to wear my good things. I sometimes even have to wrestle a few of them. Michelle, you know all about wrestling <laughs> don't you? <laughs> I think we have a lot in common, from the same taste in hairspray <laughs> to the same units of Botox, fillers, lifts, tucks, snips, and hips. <laughs> Michelle, every time I walk the runway, you have this pungent look on your face, kind of like you got a mm. <laughs> I reckon they have some laxatives for that. <laughs> Just a secret, we all poop. Let's get this roast to cook in. Mm. Can we please put our hands together for the one, the only, Michelle Visage, Jizz Breath. <laughs> They're the real star of this show. Sorry, RuPaul. <laughs> mm. I find it hilarious that Michelle Visage judges a talent competition. I don't know about you, but don't you actually have to have talent to do that? <sighs> and I'm pretty sure having one song in the 90s that no one even remembers doesn't qualify you to be a judge on such a big TV show. <laughs> Good thing she's been sucking RuPaul's dick for so long. <laughs> oh. And we've got Tamar Braxton in the house. Tamar Braxton, however you say it. <laughs> she's Tony Braxton's less talented, more annoying sister. <laughs> Oh. <clears throat> Anyways, now that Michelle's breath has stunk up this entire stage, I'd like to introduce our next minty contestant, Peppermint. Hey, y'all. Thank you, Pheromone. <laughs> Ross, everyone says that your voice is annoying and high-pitched, but I actually love the sound of your voice right now. <laughs> Don't talk. Don't talk. <laughs> Michelle Visage, Michelle, Michelle. Not since Destiny's Child has a Michelle become so famous for riding somebody else's coattail. <laughs> RuPaul, all smiles. Ross. All smiles. Michelle, poke her face. No, seriously, someone poke her face. <laughs> it, it doesn't even move. <laughs> Michelle says no to everything. Michelle, you like my dress? No. You like my makeup? No. Bitch, where the hell were you when somebody asked you if you wanted to write that book? <laughs> <laughs> it's a great book, Michelle. Said no one. <laughs> Honestly, I fell in love with you, Michelle, watching you and RuPaul on VH1, and I'm so honored to share this moment with you, so thank you. Happy 90th birthday, Michelle. <laughs> hey, babies. It's me, Mother Maybelline. Nina Bonina, Banana Fofana, Osama Bin Laden's brown great aunt. <laughs> coming all the way from the lions, tigers, and bears, and sheep of the Lord Missionary Baptist Church. <laughs> Praise the Lord. <laughs> Moving on to the man of the hour, RuPaul's secretary, Michelle Vasage. <laughs> you know, Michelle, your face reminds me of my hip. Stiff. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> What's your name, baby? You are a whole lot of women. Mm-hmm. Well, we normally save the best for last, but in this case, we had to settle for Alexis Michelle. <laughs> oh, Michelle, Michelle, Michelle. In honor of your big night, I wore your favorite color, girl. <laughs> um, we have so much in common, Michelle. 
We have the theater running in our veins, Michelle. You also have several venereal diseases <laughs> running through yours, but that's besides the point. <laughs> But, you know, you're also an inspiration to me, Michelle. As thin as you have become, one area has stayed the same, unchanged. It's a Hanukkah miracle, Baruch Hashem. Oh, my goodness, fortune. You also know about playing second fiddle. You've been playing bull to Chelsea Handler's alcoholic wasp for ages now. <laughs> now, Michelle, I have to congratulate you on really being able to take the piss just ask the UK men's water polo team. Okay. <laughs> she loves water sports, she loves the UK, and we love you, Mama. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. It's been real. Good night, everybody. <laughs> oh, I just hope Lady Bunny's in a better place. Trust me, she is. I seen her apartment. Friends and loved ones, to pay tribute to the Lady Bunny, please welcome Monet Exchange. <laughs> <laughs> Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to celebrate the life, liberty, and illiteracy of our dear friend, Lady Bunny. <laughs> Many know her as Lady Bunny, but I like to go by her original drag name, Methuselah. <laughs> or as they know her down at the clinic, Patient Zero. <laughs> she was often called the Beyonce of drag, not because she was rich and beautiful or famous, but because she looked like she was carrying twins. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that big bloated bitch in that box. <laughs> Have you ever seen an out of drag? Anybody? Category is Ben Franklin f the Michelin Man. Amen. <laughs> you know, this reminds me of a story when we all went on tour. Bunny expressed that she wanted to eat a little Mexican. Poor little Valentina didn't stand a chance. <laughs> Thank you all for being here for me in my time of need. <laughs> I cracked a nail, and these are French tip. Bunny is dead. <laughs> I personally blame Rue. <gasps> she created this mess, but I understand. Everyone needs that one ugly friend. Isn't that right, Valentina? She's ugly on the inside. <laughs> Bunny does have that special kind of face. <laughs> Doctors use a picture of her to solve Viagra users with, with, to solve Viagra users with erections lasting longer than four hours. Is this the same Trinity from Snatch Game? Wish they would have solved that joke, bitch. Woo. Trinity should have just brought Caitlyn Jenner back to do this roast. Praise the Lord, Saints. Praise the Lord. I said, Praise the Lord, Saints. Praise the Lord. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Dearly beloved, we're gathered here today with heavy hearts and with full indigestion <laughs> over our dear sister's departure. The big bitch, the big bitch lady named Bunny. Come on, sing it with me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> She a <laughs> oh, I'm reminded of the story of Jonah and the whale, and how Jonah was going to get out of this big beach whale right here. And I do believe from all the she has taken, she might even be a sperm whale. So my question to you tonight, Jonah, Jonah, can you hear me? Church lady singing, okay. I will laugh at anything that's silly and funny, but I didn't get the jokes. Girl, I am lost and I'm, huh? Hallelujah. All right, let's get into this. Ah, we are here to honor someone who had no problem offending literally everybody. And I think that came with confidence and confidence comes with age. And we know how the bitch died. 
from old, 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 old age. <laughs> oh, gosh. Could you imagine being born in a time with no Nintendo 64? <laughs> And it's really cute to me that Rue, you and Lady Bunny went to the same woodchuck to get your teeth done. But that's who you go to in 1832. <laughs> it's very awkward to see Naomi bomb like this. What is really making this weird is her laughing at her awkward pauses and her awkward jokes. <laughs> she says a joke and it's like, <laughs> it's like, <laughs> that makes it even worse. <laughs> Uh. Oh, bunny. <laughs> Rest in peace, Lady Bunny. Oh. Rue, this is a funeral, goddammit. What part of mourning don't you understand? I'd like to keep them on, please. Mother, may I? No. <laughs> Gosh, I was running late and didn't have time to finish my goddamn eyes. That was the joke. Okay. Lady Bunny is an inbred pig in a wig. <laughs> Can't you just see her now with the big juicy red apple in her mouth and Satan's finger up her ass? <laughs> it's like a car wreck you just can't look away from. You're like... Mm hmm Lady Bunny is such a whore. Her sphincter ripped, and she's been using her dentureless gums ever since. <laughs> Dearly beloved, and Michelle Visage. <laughs> At least our poor Lady Bunny met her faithful demise doing something she loved when she choked to death at a hot dog eating contest. <laughs> when the doctors performed the autopsy, they found that she was full of semen and the aircraft carrier that they served on. <laughs> Here I have Lady Bunny's Last will and testicle. <laughs> <laughs> to Trinity the Tuck, the Lady Bunny has left her biggest synthetic wig to you that she melted down so you can inject it directly into your ass. <laughs> <laughs> Monique Hart, the Lady Bunny leaves you her crusty, dusty old lashes because she thought you needed a newer pair. <laughs> <laughs> Valentina, Lady Bunny wanted you to know that before she passed, she called ICE and they're waiting for you after the service. <laughs> <laughs> and last but not least, to Lady Bunny's oldest friend, RuPaul, Lady Bunny wants you to know that finally you're the pretty one. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for coming and enjoying our obituary. Or, in her terms, oh, bitch, you hairy. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, squirrel friend. When one video ends, just open up another one. It's called binge viewing. Go ahead. I support you.